Good morning, everyone. My name is Larry. I work for TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's about a half an hour north of Denver, right off of I-25 and right next to the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Today we're going to talk about a, a half-ton Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi in it. So before we really get into the truck, I wanted to talk about that specific engine because you hear everybody talking about how great the 5.7 Hemi is. So I wanted to research that and find out for myself, well, what makes it so great? So here's a little history uh, of the Hemi. It goes clear back to 1940. Dodge came out with an engine that was actually for an airplane, 36 liter. They called it the 14 2200. Well, as time went by in 1950, Chrysler did the first hemispheric car engine. Now, they called it the Chrysler Firepower, and that was the first actual Hemi released to released. Now, it was only available on the racing circuit. So in 1964, they actually placed first, second, and third, just completely dominated the competition, and it wasn't available until 1966. It was made available to the public. Well, obviously, they sold like hotcakes and were really doing well until 1971. And that's when our friends, the environmentalists, shut them down because they were not able to pass emissions. So it simply lay dormant until 1981, and they tried another Hemi engine, which was a 2.6. And to be blatantly honest, it wasn't good. It didn't last very long, and they disposed of that. So then it wasn't until 2003 that the designers came up with a 5.7 Hemi engine basically this one's cousin. That one had 345 horsepower. They went on to continue to better themselves, and you hear things like the Hellcat, such as that in the cars, but stuck with a 5.7 in the half-ton pickup because it's obviously producing a lot of power, it's very durable, and it's very reliable. So with that being said, I would like to introduce you to the 2019 Ram 1500. The trim level is Bighorn. This truck has just a touch over 37,000 miles. This is stock number 5U201 366. So let's take a look under the hood and, and see that Hemi. Right there it is. That's the legendary Hemi engine. One thing that's really nice about the design of this truck is look how much space we have. You know, in some of the competition, they get to really cramming things in there with all the electrical stuff going on that you really can't work on engines anymore. Well, that isn't the case here. There's plenty of room to get in there and do what you got to do. Right there is where we would check the oil. For example, things as simple as windshield washer fluids here, batteries here. So if something happens, we have to jump it. Very easy to get to. As we continue to walk around, again, plenty of room over here to get in and check things or do what we got to do. It's a very smart and practical design to this engine. Now this Ram is what they call the fifth generation. And how can I tell that simply by looking at it is right here. It doesn't have the traditional Ram logo. They changed that. So where it says Ram. So if you're out and about and you see one that has that, that you'll know that that's the fifth gen. Now we did put a brand new windshield on this truck. It had just a couple of minor chips in it. So instead of repairing that in any way, we simply went out and got the whole windshield replaced. As we start on this side to walk around, another thing we did to the truck, these are brand new tires. Those are BF Goodrich's all-terrain tires. We're getting into that time of year where we need to start thinking about you know, driving on a little bit of ice and in the snow. So that's why we went on ahead and put the all-terrain tires on it. As we take a look in the passenger seat, we'll notice that it does come with the Ram floorboards. One thing nice about the truck, I mean, it's, it has enough stuff in it that's going to be comfortable, but not a lot of things that's going to overwhelm us. A very clean and nice truck. You take a look in the back seat. Just simply by lifting up the seat, 
very simple there's more storage capacity down here as you can see there's no tears anything like that in the truck very well taken care of right here is our fasteners for car seats right there We just take a second to observe the truck you'll notice there aren't any scratches on it on the outside you know it wasn't dinged up anything like that as we take a look at the rear of the truck bighorn engine here's the traditional ram logo that we're used to seeing this truck is four-wheel drive it does have a towing hitch right here for bumper pull trailer. In addition, here's our hookups for lights, and there's a couple of options there. So chances are whatever trailer you might be towing, you're all ready to go in terms of the light hookup. Now, if we notice the tailgate, when it comes down, this doesn't just slam us, okay? And it's designed to do that, to come down slow and easy. As we continue to walk around this side, again, I mean, I, I simply like the color of the truck. I think that's a very nice sharp maroon. It's not the look at me red, just a very sharp, clean color uh, for you to go up and down the road with. Gas tank right there. So it's very easy to get to. As we take a look at the back seat, we do have the same thing on this side for storage right underneath here. And from this angle, we can take a shot where we can turn our vents on and off, some USB connections right there as well. Now let's take a little bit closer look of the inside. Okay, this comes with the push button start right there. And to keep things simple, we'll start up at the top and work our way down. This simply turns these particular lights on and off right here. This opens and closes the back window. There's a back window right behind us that opens and closes that. We pan over and look at the, the column here. Gauges are really self-explanatory. If we look at the steering wheel, this is all actually adjust to can set up your screen differently there. As we go through them, any type of messages, you can connect your own media to the truck and select what you want to do there. There's tells us our, our trailer tow. And now we break it down so we can have some trip information there so we can kind of monitor and gauge how we're doing in terms of, of fuel economy. Right there's proof that we just got the oil changed. It was completely serviced. This truck's ready to go. Actually, the previous owner to this truck just replaced the brakes in it before, before we got it. So that's another, yet another thing that you're not gonna have to do with a, tr with a truck. Now, just like all Chrysler products, this uses basically Uconnect. So Uconnect, you go right here, and that will show us basically everything at once. Now I realize that this, the seats are vinyl, but they're also heated. So that's rare, you don't see that very often. Usually you have to have leather for that. Um, the driver's seats are heated. The backup camera, if you wanna take a look, is, is right there. As you continue on climate, we can do specific things there in terms of where we want our airflow, how hot that we want it. That has maximum AC for the, the summertime as well or we can just simply push the controls button that'll really narrow it in so you can be uh, more technical and figure out exactly what kind of climate that you want. As we continue down, heated seats are right here. This, if you're driving at night and you just simply want to shut the screen completely off, you can sure that, do that. And to get it back, just touch the screen. Now the heated seats are on both driver and passenger as we come down. Here's our climate control right here. 
Um, it does, does, like I said, this truck is four wheel drive, so you can put it in auto if you want to, and it'll actually kick in when one tire starts to spin. Now, if we find ourselves in a, in a real situation, you can kick that to four wheel drive low. That'll really help you climb out of it. It does have the dial for park, reverse, neutral, and drive. This is our tow assist right here. This is for traction control. It does have sensors for both front and rear parking. Now this one actually does come with a CD player as well. And right down here is more hookups for your auxiliary. Like we stated, you can hook up your own, own music to it as well. Now it does come with quite a bit of storage up here. You flip that, we have this here. In addition, that pops up there. So there's even more clear down here. And this actually slides back and forth. So you can really put a lot of stuff beside you for those long trips. But a very nice half ton pickup that we have on the market today. One I, I feel very fortunate to be able to offer you guys. So if you have any other questions about it or anything else on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. My cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.